Hey everyone, in this video I want to quickly talk about something that might be a threat to um, most of the EV players out there and maybe in particular Tesla and maybe to the benefit of NIO. What I'm talking about is an analogy here because it's about actually the smartphones and the EU has officially ruled Apple iPhone batteries must be replaceable by 2027. So repairability is of course a big topic and well famously some smartphone manufacturers are worse than others in terms of what um, customers can actually still replace for example in case that the battery has degenerated and uh, it's not the device is not usable anymore right and so it seems that the european union has now adopted new rules that require smartphones sold in the block to have user replaceable batteries by 2027 by default so that means apple possibly has to adopt and we might get easier repairable phones again of course this is about an issue with sustainability and the ways that um, um, devices can be used again uh, the, the resources that go, that go into it and also of course to the benefit of consumers now the question is whether or not this may actually also apply to the EV industry at some point. Um, obviously, the, the question comes up, what happens to all of the cars uh, that have a battery inside and uh, might need a replacement at some point in time? Um, well, for once, of course, there are different systems for now. So, for example, from the structural pack that Tesla has, um, which can not easily be removed but has other benefits such as on cost and you know um, reducing parts in the vehicle um, so that's of course um, you know the way that tesla is moving um, and then there are most of the other cars that um, have also not replaceable battery packs but might be easier to remove in in a, in, in a sense that um, the way they are integrated into the body in the vehicle body um, is not a structural way and then on the other hand of course you have somebody like neo who is you know using battery swapping and therefore the battery can easily be replaced um, or switched out in case that it's defect and um, can also easily be recycled and you know go into a uh, closed loop in which um, batteries are for once um, in the battery asset management company and uh, the uh, backend system monitored for for healthiness and then also of course um, you know on the customer side you have the benefits that you can upgrade to the new technology you can swap it out in case that it's um, the, the battery has lost its um, full um, capabilities and so on so that would actually be in line with a, a rule like that in the smartphone industry however i do think that um you know currently we are simply not there so there is no mechanism uh, thought through yet for what actually is going to happen with all of the batteries um, this is actually one part where most um, automakers are currently investigating and also quite a bit of venture capital is being spent um, on the other hand um, you know it would make a lot of sense to uh, think through stuff like that and um, you know uh, implement a system that is you know really uh, saving a lot of these resources now how realistic is that this is coming actually also to um, the ev industry i think right now the, it's rather unrealistic um, first of all um, most of the batteries are not degrading in a really huge way so we see currently over the lifetimes that you know you might lose 10 percent of the battery um, overall capacity so it, it possibly doesn't seem as a big issue in, in terms of the um, uh, degeneration of the battery however um, you know once the entire world fleet let's say like this is replaced with um, fully battery electric vehicles of course at some point this is getting a quite um, you know valuable um, uh, base of um, yeah resources installed and therefore you might think of the easiest way the most economic way of actually accessing that for reuse and recycling and here's where battery swapping actually comes in as a easy way in a closed loop system and maybe at some point in time also the legislators might want to think about what is the most sustainable way and you know 
who knows what will be the will be the outcome will we see something similar like this applied in the EV industry or not let me know in the comments what you think thanks for watching and see you in the next one